Hey, fourth grade mathers, look, if you have been faithful in yesterday's video and you've been faithful in videos the whole time, guess what? This lesson today is super, super, super fussy, okay? It's super easy because we already learned it yesterday. What? Then why is it a new lesson today? Because it's just in a different format. That's it, none of us. Okay, so look, number one, Circle the improper fractions. Remember what an improper fraction is? Who can tell me? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Scarlet. What is an improper fraction, Chica? It's a fraction where the numerator is bigger than the denominator or equal to it. Remember, five over four, improper. Three over two, improper. 8 over 8, improper. And remember what I told you yesterday. That means that we need to make it proper. We need to make it in the correct form. So go ahead and do number 1. There are three improper's. Go ahead and find them. I'm not going to tell you what they are. Okay, number 2. Complete the number line, use improper fractions. Okay, I'm just gonna show you what the next one is to help you. It makes sense though, right? Zero over four, one over four, two over four, three over four, so four over four, what's the next one? It's a patron, it's a pattern. Over four, five over four, then the next one, then the next one, and then the next one you can use improper fractions. So I know that you'll be able to do that one well. And now here comes the easy part, and it's the lesson for today. Look at number three, instructions. Change to mixed or whole numbers. Don't read the stuff in parentheses, it doesn't apply to us. Look at letter A, number three, letter A. Remember what I told you yesterday. What do you think you need to do with that? Fernanda, what do you think you need to do with that to make it a mixed or a whole number? Divide. Good job, Chica, because this little thing right here means divide. So, Keanu, help me out with division. How many times can five go into eight? One time. Good. What's your remainder? Well, one times five is five. Eight minus five is three, okay? And what's your denominator, Keanu? Five, because it never changes, okay? Remember, if you don't want to do that in your head, you can do it over here with division. Five into eight is one. One times five is five. Eight minus five is three. Three over what? This, five. And there's my answer. Both ways to get it, okay? Go ahead and do number letter B. And let's see if you get it right, letter B. Okay, you ready? Four over two, easy peasy. What's the answer, Sala? Two, what's the fraction? <laughs> it was a trampa, there is no fraction, right? There is no remainder. Four divided by two is just two. Okay, what about letter C? Go ahead and try it and we'll check it together. Okay, here we go. Nine over four. How many times can nine go into four, Jayla? Two. And what's your remainder as a fraction, Kiara? One over four, right? Because four goes into nine two times. Eight, one, one over four is your remainder. Okay, now there is a there is an extra paso, an extra step that you need to do for letter D. See if you can figure out what it is. Look at letter D, go ahead and do it by yourself and see what you get as your answer. Okay. I'm 
am sure that a lot of you got this as your answer. Did you get that as your answer? Raise your hand. A couple of you probably got that as your answer. How many of you got this as your answer? Raise your hand if you got that as your answer. Okay, this one is the right one. What is this? I know that this is right. Mina gave four, goes into six, one time. Six minus four is two. Two is over four, right? So that's the answer. Okay, it is, but it's not. <laughs> no, it is, you guys, but look, we have to reducir. Si podemos reducir, necesitamos reducir. What are you talking about, Francesca? Remember, if you can divide this, these two numbers by a number to get them smaller, then you can, you can reduce and you need to reduce. What number can we divide two and four by Chiara? So it's one and one half. Two divided by two is one, four divided by two is two. But I think about this is your official good answer. If you get an answer like this, I'm gonna send it back to you and say, okay, but now reduce, okay? Try to reduce it. And that's how you do it, do it. Okay, let's keep practicing. Our adding, because it says right here, add, reduce to lowest term. So let's practice, dun dun dun. dun. A hard one. What is a super hard? Well, none of them are hard to be honest with you. So let's just do letter A. Here we go, letter A. Number four, letter A. Four and three eighths plus eight plus nine and three eighths is three plus three is six. Let's find the denominator down here. Can eight? Four plus eight is twelve plus four, nine is twenty one. There's my answer. No, it's not. You gotta do one more thing. What do you gotta do? What do you gotta do? Divide, if you can. What number can we divide six and eight by? Holly? If you're not sure, this is what you're gonna do. One and six, two and three. You gotta write your factors. One and eight, two and four. What's my greatest common factor there, Holly, Holly? Two. Okay, so we go two and two. So here we go, we're gonna write our whole number. 21, 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. There you go. And that is your answer. I'm not going to do any more for you because you guys are super, super smart. Look at number 5. Number 5. Okay, you guys can do these. I know they're sometimes a little hard, but I'm not seeing anybody have a lot of trouble on them, which is super great. So I'm gonna look today after you guys are done and see if there's any trouble on division, okay? Um, let's look at, hmm, letter A on number six. I think you guys can do by yourself. It's gonna be a fraction as the answer, okay? A fraction as the answer. Number, letter B. You can do by yourself. They're just asking you for what is the a cost of one apple. Letter number seven. Number seven. Circle the digit in the millions position. Guys, you know where the millions position is. Yes or no? Make sure you circle the millions. Don't tell me you don't understand. Circle where you think the millions are. And if you're wrong, I'll tell you. Okay? Don't just leave it there and be like, well, I don't know how to do it. Number eight, you're good to go. And number nine, you're good to go. So you are done. You guys can do this, okay? Show me how much you know, okay? Have a great day. Bye.